There are two types of people in Bad Wars. Those that use tools to break bad defenses and those that use TNT. I personally use tools all the time. All I ever use TNT for is TNT jumping. But in today's video, we are going to be switching things up. In the following games, I am not allowed to use any tools. If I come across a wool defense, that is not a huge problem. Wood is still humane. But if my enemy has an endstone defense, I will have to use TNT. Not to speak of obsidian. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, first game on here on Skyrise. Skyrise is a map that is going to be really challenging since it is a fast iron map, so people are going to be having tools without any stop to it at tools. So people are going to be having a lot of bad defense. They are going to be having endstone, they are going to have all the wealth in the world to buy a fancy bad defense that I have to go up against with my fist only. I mean, I could use blocks or a sword, but it's not gonna change anything. Yellow doesn't look any sweaty, but uh, sadly I am about to run out of blocks, so I might not win this uh, bridge fight. Wait, they gave up. That is so sad. Wait, they didn't give up. They wanted to do this. It just didn't work out. Uh, whoa, okay, that was, <laughs> I was gonna say, let's see if we can do this. Uh, that was actually really close. GG's to that guy. Um, I almost bought tools. I really, really have the strong urge to buy tools. I just get tools every time. Whenever I have enough iron, I'm going for tools. So it's not the most easy thing in the world to basically not buy tools. It's probably easier to not use tools than it is to not buy tools, because I'm so used to it. Alright, we are going over to white. That looks pretty good. They only have a wool defense. Oh my god. And I've been thinking, what does happen when someone has obsidian? I can basically not do anything. I have to wait for... Uh, wait. I have to wait for... What the heck? So to finish what I was talking about, I have to wait for bad destruction. But that guy is actually insane at PvP. What the heck? Uh, I really want to win video games, but it doesn't look good. Oh, they take like no KB. This is not good. Yeah, okay, he's probably cheating. That is so sad that I have to face a cheater for my first game. Uh... Okay, this is going to be tough. My strategy is probably to avoid any PvP encounters. We just saw that guy is either an absolute god at the video game, or, I don't know, they might be cheating, who knows? But of course, I don't know, I don't want to accusate anyone. Uh, they might as well just be really, really good at the game. I think I will do some risky stuff and go for white base. That was a really risky one. I was going for White's Island here, but um, I was pretty sure that I wouldn't be able to make it, so I had to switch to uh, landing on the bridge mid-flight. That was uh, pretty scary. But White is dipping on their bed. That is really good. But first of all, we have to kill Grey. They just got M's, and they can do many scary things with M's. I don't want to see that happen. As long as I'm on a wild goose chase with Grey, White is probably gonna get stacked and uh, be able to beat me later on. That's probably gonna happen. I'll just do this. I'm really tired of chasing after Grey. Okay, that was risky. You probably heard me uh, kind of freaking out there. My voice probably went uh, crazy. Because <laughs> I uh, just physically had to move on my chair to be able to beat that guy. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just weird, don't mind me. Uh, I think my strategy is gonna be to get a diamond sword and then uh, probably be able to kill white in a PvP encounter, I hope. I wasn't prepared for my first game to be this sweaty help. <laughs> I literally just got on, did my uh, daily quests in sumo to warm up and that's it. This is literally my first game. Okay, we found white. I was about to say the problem is that I can't use a track on them since the bats aren't already destroyed yet. Okay, he's trying to backboard me. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Those weird movements. Okay, 
I'm going to try to finish him here. I do not want to fight someone like that with low ground, but it happened. Wonderful. I managed to win this. And now all I have to do is beat this guy. Okay, they don't seem to be good. They're using a bow. I noticed that I have a big problem with accusating way too early when there's still a bunch of possibilities what could be happening instead. For example, them just having a low ping or them just lagging. So I really have to settle down a little and not think of the worst right away. That's why I'm always so cautious now about calling hacks on someone. I don't want to treat anyone badly here. Uh, that guy was probably totally legit and they don't really deserve to be treated so poorly by me. Alright. Parts in. That was a really, really close jump. What the heck? Freaking hell. Why my blocks not placing? Okay, we got him. We got him down at least. So now let's get their bed. Here we go. Gap. I won't aggro pearl. I want to save that to get out of situations. And now, here we go. Good. Whew. That was the first game. Really sweaty. My hands are kind of wet. But uh, that doesn't matter. I'd say next game. I just realized they have a new double XP message. You see it down here. Usually they would show you a box about as big as this one telling you, hey, your guild has level <laughs> and now you get a double XP. Wonderful. But now they made it a tiny little bit smaller and I'm not gonna lie, it looks way cleaner that way. I like it. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> How did they know that I'm doing this? Challenge. They can't know. How did they... What? I'll just hit him off and I will have enough time to get AT&T after I figured out where exactly it is. And here we go, they are gone. Wait, didn't I get... Hmm, I didn't get the kill, I think. Really smart. The th oh. The same trick would have worked again, but they didn't take any KB, that's kind of weird. But uh, they died anyway, so who cares? <laughs> I feel like White is actually targeting me. They see Grey bridging over and they are still going for me. That is annoying. I don't know why they would do that. But at least I can get some prod. Let's see, Red is not doing anything yet. <sighs> Risky. I was gonna say, what defense does White have? But I just realized they don't have a defense at all. Okay, Red is going for another team. That's really good to see. And white voided. I will get their bet anyways, obviously, since they don't have a defense. That's pretty lucky for me. Whoa, what? White is really good at PvP and also going that way, and I feel like red is going to go this way or this way, so either way it's good for me if I go this way. So if red is going towards me here, I can just prevent them from doing so, and if red is going the other way, they are going to be fighting my enemy and distracting them from going to mid or anything. Any other wild shenanigans like that. <laughs> I'm really trying to make like an interesting and fun commentary here, but I keep just uh, talking about Bad Wars technical stuff and strategy stuff. That's probably pretty boring, so if you're still watching, thank you so much. Wait, red is actually going mid? For a second I thought they would be mid rushing me and I think they are going to do this as soon as I broke their bed. Why is red going mid? What? My hope here is that I can beat white, but white is also going mid? Eh, what? Okay, but I see red so I won't void just yet. Okay, red doesn't know what they're doing, that's pretty good. And white doesn't know what to do with TNT, that's also pretty good. Uh, but I have to keep in mind they are really good at PvP. Yeah, they're gonna beat me again. Actually, no. I'm getting a combo. Oh, lucky. <laughs> GG's, dude. Uh, what was his name? Their name? Uh, 
You, Shrek Forever, that's probably a nick. GG's dude, that was a good game. For my last game in this challenge I chose Airshow since many people do get Obsidian on this map, so that's going to be interesting to go up against. Hopefully no one is going to get Obsidian though, that would be really annoying. Out of here, my goodness. So annoying. I have to be transparent with you guys, I already edited out like three losses out of all the games I played today. I didn't really lose because of the challenge. And if I don't lose because of the challenge, but rather because solos is actually a really difficult mode, that isn't really worth keeping in. That doesn't really make much sense. If I would die trying to break a bad defense without tools, that would be something you could edit in, a loss. But if I just die because I'm not really that good at solos, then that is not really a good game to edit in. Alright, I got Obsidian. We don't have to worry about any Obsidian in this game anymore. I mean, it does happen that multiple people manage to get Obsidian, but it doesn't really happen all too often. You probably don't have to worry about it. So let's just sweat a little, take out a few teams. Nothing out of the ordinary. Gray doesn't know what they're doing, that's always good to see. And also my ladders just glitch out every single time I'm trying to ladder clutch right now. That's really weird. Anyways, Gray, let's have a good fight. There you go. Wait a second, you're still alive. That wasn't planned. Now you got extra hits. Wait, what did Grey do all the time? Red doesn't even have a bridge to them. What did they do? The whole game. While I took out my first rush and also uh, got Obsidian. That's pretty weird. I'll toss these out. I don't want to give them to Grey. Oof. Wait, I did it. <laughs> My mouse kind of slipped out of my hand, so I couldn't really control all too much anymore. But it worked out. I'll take it. Out of here. I will go for yellow's bat next, since I don't want yellow to get obsidian. That would be the worst thing that could happen. That would be the best thing that could happen for content, but the worst thing that could happen for me. Uh, that's not what I'd like to see. How didn't you take any damage? Out of here. Also, I don't think I'm mentioning this all too often, but just know whenever I say, oh, that person is not all too good, or that person is doing something that's stupid, I don't really mean to attack you personally, just in case for some reason you see this. Uh, that's just my way of dealing with situations in Bad Wars. And uh, please, no one really feel attacked. I don't mean it like that, okay? <laughs> Friends. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna use some TNT now since we didn't really use it all game, all challenge. Actually, no! Why is my alarm going off? It's reminding me of my daily upload. Also, where is yellow? Got rid of the alarm. Where? They have mining fatigue? Okay, great. Um, I don't know where yellow is. I'll just go in this direction and see if I can find him. I wasn't able to place any blocks there. Ah, this is how it works. Yay, that worked! What? <laughs> I didn't mean to jump up there, but it worked out. Great. Uh, outro. So as you saw, that challenge wasn't all too hard. But if you subscribe, I'm not entirely sure, but there is a possibility that you are going to see a challenge just like this in about one week exactly that is going to be a lot harder. I didn't film this yet, but I'm not sure if I can win it. And the challenge after that is going to be impossible. There's no way I can win even a single game. So yeah, if you want to see that, and if you want to see all the other daily December uploads, like tomorrow and every single day after that until the 24th, be sure to subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your night, and goodbye.